Well, welcome everyone. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. I am so glad to see so many faces and I heard that we needed more chairs. I love hearing that. <laughs> That's always great news. Um, this has been um, a wonderful time prepping to seeing all of you environmentally conscious people coming together um, for the same for the same purpose for the community. It's just so important that we do that. And um, today we're going to have a mistress of ceremony who's going to help us guide us through this. And um, she's a wonderful person. She has been a part of our artist coalition in South Chicago. You probably have seen her on the other side of the camera. Um, documenting um, some of our green summits and some of our programs. Um, she has also um, talked to our kids for motivations at Career Day at Bowen. And um, we also have a partnership with the University of Chicago. And we had a wonderful performance by her at our ground rounds um, on the topic of domestic violence. Well, I decided to use her veteran skills today because um, she is Chicago's very own tittle in the middle. And, and then, you know, for all you old school people, you probably remember tittle in the middle on um, WGCI. And um, she has also been very generous today because in part of your raffle, she's raffling off two tickets to her show that she will be doing at Chicago State. It's called A Night of Comedy Theater um, from the Everyday People series. And this is from the Chicago State's alumni and creator of the um, hit NBC show 227, Christine Houston. And it is starring our hostess for today, Ms. LaDonna Tittle. Let's give her a hand. Thank you, Jackie. My chair wanted to keep me stuck. <laughs> Must be that breakfast I ate, huh? <laughs> About the breakfast, thank you so much. Thank you, Clarition. Thank you, all of you people that have supported uh, all the things that I've done for the last 125 years. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I'm so happy to be here. And thanks for a couple of fans that came up who also watched the show Cooking with Tittle. Thank you so much. It's going to get really green, too, this year, because I'm so inspired. I, I'm telling you, I've been so inspired by what's happening with the Green Summit ever since it started in 2009, that I actually went and got my green certificate from Green Tech U in homes and gardens. I learned so many environmental things. and. So glad that it's incorporating children to start planning and knowing where their food comes from. So glad I have light. My goodness. <laughs> there we go. So we all won't take a nap here today <laughs> after breakfast. And I just want to welcome you once again to uh, the 10th Ward's Green Summit kickoff. Uh, I congratulate all of you for your hard work in providing environmental awareness artistic awareness, educational awareness, and hands-on activities for our youth, as well as our seniors, too. Okay, can't forget those, but, oh no, not, not at all. <laughs> okay. Um, we have to start today uh, by remembering just how the, and he comes in with a great but he's not mine. He went the wrong way, oh, never mind, okay. <laughs> I won't take it on. Anyway, we're going to start today by uh, letting you all know and giving you some history on how this wonderful organization started, how the summit started in the 10th Ward, and uh, we also have to make sure our youth know what to do and to follow in footsteps. Now, did I say footsteps? Uh, just wait. <laughs> I want to congratulate her because she did a tremendous thing. There's nothing like being a mom and nothing like having adults follow you in their footsteps, uh, in your footsteps, and also having the little ones follow you in footsteps. And 
I think he's about four months old. Let's congratulate and give it up for a trailblazer, a green trailblazer. She is the 10th Ward's Angela Herlock, Executive Director. Of parents, but they let anybody go home with a baby. It's really <laughs> amazing. They just let you walk out of the hospital with a child. Um, but it also gives you a new perspective on life. It really makes you really second guess and, and think about the things that you do. Um, and first of all, we just want to welcome you to our um, fourth annual Green Summit, Kevin and I. And um, we wanted, we we're supposed to tell you how the Green Summit came to be. And we were talking about 15 minutes ago and we'd love to tell you this wonderful story of how we got together and we just had this, these round of focus groups and um, you know, we talked to all these people and it was just wonderful. And actually what we remember is though, um, shortly before Thanksgiving in 2007, as we were standing outside the neighborhood house trying not to get frozen or shot, um, for those of you who know our neighborhood, um, we just were talking. And uh, Kevin, Joanne, and myself, and uh, Kevin and Joanne were saying they wanted to showcase some of the things that the Calumet Stewardship Initiative was doing. And I said, oh, that's really wonderful, because I really want to showcase our homes and how green they are. And uh, that is really the birth of what became the Green Summit. It was just a small, man, it would be really nice to tell people about the 10th Ward and all that's going on here. There are so many wonderful things that go on in the 10th Ward and they're not always celebrated on TV. When you hear about the 10th Ward on TV, you hear about the shootings and you hear about the killings and you hear about very negative things, but there are a lot of wonderful things that go on every single day in the 10th Ward and we just wanted to highlight that. And um, I'm supposed to let Kevin talk too, so. Um, <laughs> so although I'm holding the mic, I should share it with you. Got to the job to summarize what did. Uh, a few months before that uh, crystallizing event, Joanne and I had been at uh, Monroe, Michigan, at the mother house of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, nuns who had done an amazing thing and spent, gone $50 million into debt to totally rehab and make totally green their mother house, which was about the same as saying uh, Bowen's High School in terms of size, so the old building at least, so it's, it's a huge investment. And, but as a teaching order, they felt that that was their final mission. They were an elderly group, and they said, as our final message, if nothing else, we're going to teach green. Well, our niece happened to be a nun in that, or that's how we wound up out there to begin with. She learned about the things we were doing in this part, and she said, you know, we're doing green things too. Well, let me tell you what's happening. And she mentioned a, a two-day two special certification program of green that was being offered out there, and she said, isn't this interesting? We said, yeah, it's interesting. We're signing up. So we went to that. Event, and then we found out how infectious the whole process could be once you start getting people involved. The tradespeople in southeastern Michigan were, you know, yeah, green's great, but it, it's not economically practical. Then they became involved in the certification program. They said, oh my God, it is economically practical, and we're going to become really messengers of green. So they were becoming certified and becoming apostles of the process at the same time, as we were from going through the program. We had just gone through that when we got together with Angela and said, hey, what do you think we could do about green? And we both thought, oh boy, we just fell into the candy factor. So from that point on, we were able to put together the green summit and incorporate the three basic areas now that are green buildings, green gardens, and CSI's particular contribution, green open spaces. And that's what's bringing us here again today. Thank you so much. And so for those of you who, have, uh, who are out there, how many of you have been with us since year one? Your entities have been with us since year one. Great. How many since the, maybe the second year? Okay. How many of this is your first year that you've been with us? Wow. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's good. Come back next year. Okay. Um, but we're very, very, very excited about what it's grown into. I, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, take a minute out to just say, although I know that this impetus kind of came from just a, a smart idea outside of, we'd like to say smart idea, outside out, after a meeting after uh, Neil, one of Neil Basenko's great Thanksgiving lunches. Um, but what's really 
come to make it grow is just the great minds. And I think after the first or second year, I actually stepped out of having a day to day. And uh, Kevin and Joanne were graced to ha were graced to have the presence of grace. <laughs> and so I want to definitely let us uh, take up from the Claritian side to take a moment to just give acknowledgement to Graciela Rubledo, who has taken this event beyond. Thank you so much for all that you've done, Grace. Um, but you know, this has grown up in from just let's just have a day to showcase all the great things in the tenth ward to let's have a whole month of showcasing the great things in, in the ward. And oh, let's have tours and let's bring people in and let's take a look. Oh, let's have the kids do a poster. Oh, and let's you know have our kids work in the gardens. And it's just been really, really phenomenal that it's grown from just saying, oh hey, let's just talk about what we're doing to how it's been the impetus to doing even more. You know, we would love to um, take kudos and credits and, and say, Masucha, you guys were excited to come to the 10th Ward because you knew we were here, right? Nice. Exactly, you know? And you, so your project is here that she's gonna talk about later, which is a phenomenal project. Um, but it's part of the green, it's part of the mindset and the vision that's happening in the 10th Ward. And so for those of you who might be a little bit sleep on the 10th Ward, which I don't think that's anybody here because you guys know about how wonderful the 10th Ward is, um, keep your eyes opening because we are, we are coming out. So just, just keep, keep your eyes open because there's gonna be a lot of great things as the years come. Um, you know, the 10th Ward is just infectious. I, I came here for a job and next thing you know, I was buying a house and getting married and having my kids here and now I'm trying to find a school and he's only four months old. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, we are really, it's something that is just so special here that makes the people who were born here never want to leave and the people who come here never want to leave. So thank you again. I know I'm supposed to just welcome you, but thank you again. And um, I look forward to uh, all the programs. And I would be remiss without saying a special thanks to, uh, we have representation from our great government uh, we have Representative Barbara Flynn Curry here. We want to say thank you. And we also have representation from Marlo Coven's office here, with Janice Janelle here. So, um, and now also our, our wonderful 10th Ward Alderman. That would be remiss without saying that Easton is here from his office. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will continue to It started small with a one day event, but it expanded to, three, to a month. And it is also growing beyond the 10th Ward, slowly, mm -hmm. through the Chicago Conservation Corps and through the block clubs and that we've expanded it already into some of the other wards partially. And we're trying to expand even further into Northwest <coughs> Indiana, which is a part of the giant stewardship mission but anyway. So it is spreading and we hope that it will continue to do so. Your presence here is a good indicator that it can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Angela, and thank you, Kevin. Well, of course, uh, you've seen her picture around, and I guess if you've got any issues like, thank you, Barbara Flynn Curry, <laughs> she'd like to hear that, wouldn't you, Barbara Flynn? <laughs> let's, let's welcome her, our state representative, <laughs> and one of the group's sponsors, Ms. Barbara Flynn Curry. Thank you so much, Madonna, and thank you for having Thank all of you. I'm thrilled to be part of the fourth annual Green Summit that now lasts a full month. What could be better than that? And my hat's off to Clemetian Associates, to the Calumet Stewardship Alliance, to the Southeast uh, Environmental Task Force, Friends of the Park. You've got it all. I work in Springfield to see to it that we expand the renewable energy portfolio so that we are using more sun, more wind, more of those resources that in the long run will cost us less and do a better job for the environment. But whatever we do in Springfield is no match for what you are doing here on the ground in the 10th Ward. What you're doing with your children, how we are establishing the importance of a green, a carbonless footprint, that's where it really starts and that's where it really ends. So for all the legislators and politicians tell you how hard we're working for you, you are the ones who are working for us. You are the ones who are working for our children, for the next generations to come, and I am proud to be part of your program. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Curry. I love her. She speaks with such enthusiasm. I can see why 
Green is growing. You know they say green is the new black. You know that, don't you?